the day at the barbershop with Michael Joseph. Okay guys, um, I'm going to make a quick tutorial for you guys who have no idea on how to cut your hair. Um, as you can see, I kind of got into it already a, a little bit. Um, the reason I decided to cut my hair is because I felt like it was getting too long on the sides. And I just want a cool haircut and I don't want to spend money at the barbershop or whatever. So I want to take matters in my own hands. And I'm assuming you're wanting to do the same thing. Well, first of all, you need a pair of clippers. Um, you, all clippers usually come with guards. Guards are just usually, this is the, the main thing that cuts the hair. This right here. And, uh, that's just, that's when, it, that's what's going to cut the hair. The guard, um, puts a distance between the, this part and the hair. So it lets, allows your hair to be longer. I'm using a seven guard and... I want to keep it a little longer on the sides. In previous videos, I've said I used the foreguard, but I don't want it to be short this time. I want it to be a little longer. So here we go. Just go down the sides, and on the, this this type of haircut I'm doing, I don't really. It's not. You don't need to focus on you know being perfect. I kind of like it messy, so um, it doesn't need to be perfect by all means. And uh, I just kind. Of, kind of, you know, just shave the sides down. I mean, it's real simple. Uh, you just, you don't, you don't go in here, you just go straight up. And, I mean, it's pretty much that easy. Um, I'm thinking about possibly changing to a six guard, if it's not, if it's not how I want it. Um, I mean, that's, another trick is to get a mirror behind you. As you can see, I have a mirror. And it's from the other bathroom. I just hang it up on the wall, and I can see my back like that, and it really helps out a lot. So I just pretty much, you know, go against the grain of the hair, and just keep going around the sides until I feel like it's nice and even. I don't have anything sticking out. Um, so I feel like I have something sticking out right here. And I'm thinking maybe I need to switch to a six guard. That's what I'm going to do here. Um, so you kind of just want to go longer, uh, and then sh you can move it down shorter. Uh, it just really depends on you. So, uh, okay. I hope this isn't too short, but if it is, I'm going to go on the sides first. See if I like it. Yeah, okay, it's not even cutting that down. So it's not too short. Oh, uh, there you go. Now it's evening the back out a little bit. There you go. Okay. Now, I'm just going to... You get the idea. I'm just going to go around the sides until I feel like it's perfect. Um... You can cut it at different angles, uh, a little bit like I'm cutting it this angle, that angle, you know, this angle, just to make sure you get all those little hairs out of there. And if you notice, like, I have a little hair here, I'm trying to even that out the best I can. And if I can't, I'm going to use the scissors to do that. So, it'll be, it'll be alright. Just make sure I get these sides as best as I can. Um, okay, you know, that's, that's decent, and let's get this back down real good. Yeah, I was deciding, I was, in, I was thinking about growing my hair out, but, um, I changed my mind. But I still don't want it, you know, short as it was before, still want it kind of long. But, um, okay, that's, that's not bad at all. Um, if you have, um, a real boring top, the, the trick to that is to take you a pair of 
scissors, and this is a trick. I'll show you. Uh, I gotta put the camera down here. Uh, okay. Um, trick is to bring your fingers through here like this, and just kind of make it choppy. And you don't want all the hairs to be even. You want some hairs longer, some hairs shorter. Uh, let's see. Here we go. Don't go too crazy with it because you might cut it all off. But uh, just you know, it doesn't have to be perfect. It, the less perfect it is, the more cooler it'll look, in my opinion. Um, like I said, I, those sides were kind of annoying me, so the clippers weren't getting them. I'll just use my scissors to get them. Okay, guys. Um, I uh, I perfected it. I just went across the sides and um, with my six guard I took the scissors finger cut the top um, some of the sides that I felt were uneven you know I just trimmed it down a little bit got you know looking cool um, I ran you know my fingers through it and just kind of brought it up like this you know, I fixed the back a little bit now it's time to kind of even this out I mean, you can uh, leave it messy if you want, but I kind of want a you know a sharper uh, neckline. So I take the guard off and just leave it bare. Um, now this time you just have to have a really steady hand. So uh, let's see. Okay. Come in to right here and you just drag it down. See what I'm doing? You come into where you want the line to form, you press down on the clippers, then you pull. Don't go too far, and you gotta keep steady hands, keep it close to your arm like this to keep it nice and steady. And then it's all a wrist movement. Just a little wrist movement, bam, like this, and pull. Bam, pull. Bam, cool. So you don't, you're not jerking too much, so it's nice and even. Uh, if you're a doctor, you're going to do, do very good if you're like a surgeon or so. Uh, and you come to the back like this, and then do the same thing. You just create a visual line in your head, and you come to it, and you create it. You come to the line, follow it down. And that's good. And now, all we have. Okay, I. You guys probably didn't see that. Um, I just came, caught that, came down there. Now I have a whole bunch of hair on my neck. Last side is to do your left. So I need to switch the camera. So now you got to do the left. Come to where you want the line to be. And you pull away. And see how I. Yeah, well, that's, that's what you need to do. Just like that. Okay. Um, that was really. That was really difficult, <laughs> but I hope you got the uh, idea on how to clean that neck up. Um, you know, I kind of like the look where it's a little messy back there, but I thought, hey, you know, it's time to clean it up a little bit. You know, his hair grows back. And this top you can just kind of, you know, mess with. And um, I'm about to jump in the shower. Um, just to recap it all up, it, it's real simple, actually. Um, you just take, you just decide, hey, do I want it short? Do I want it long? Let's say I want, you know, about medium. Um, I'm going to take a 7 or a 6. I'm going to start with a, the highest number. I'm going to start with a 7. I'm just going to trim it, come all the way up to about here, and just go straight up like a straight wall. Come up here. And then you can kind of curve over here a little bit um, so you know, even it out a little more if, if, that's what you, if you feel it's needed. And you just do it all the way around because, you know, hair is broken up in, you know, what, four parts your top, your side here, your side here, and your back. So you just get this, this the whole side here, 
all your sides and then the top you don't touch with the clippers you just touch with the scissors um, and just kind of you know make it messy and and you know put your fingers and decide dictate where how how long you want it to be if I my hair is up here and I burn my fingers I'm gonna cut it right about here you know what I mean um, so it's it's real simple. You can save a lot of money, and cutting your hair is not hard. Uh, maybe some haircuts are harder than others, but this is a, a really good haircut, I think. Real easy. And Thank you for watching this video, and if you liked, comment, rate, and subscribe.